Welcome back everyone, this is Zaid, and I'm back with another episode of Or Spawn. I made this little room to put our patterns together. It doesn't look like much in the chest here, but the idea is the pattern for this, we're going to put together right here. The pattern for this, we'll put together right here. You can see the moss scale is already there. The blade, same thing. We've got this going on right here. And we'll just build all that until we have enough for the sword itself. Now today I'm not sure how long each one's going to take, so I don't know how many we'll get through, but I've got, hopefully I'm going to get to three mini bosses today, but it just depends how long they take. I'm first going to go out, we're going to try to fight a water dragon, and then we're going to go to the basilisk lair that I found in the mining dimension after that. And then we will just kind of see how long everything's taking at that point. There's a spider somewhere. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so for starting, we want to fight a water dragon. And I have seen them spawn over here in this ocean quite a few times. So we are going to come over here and see if there's one out right now. All right, there's one right there. I've just been kind of running around back and forth on this shore right here. Oh, there's another sea viper. The problem is we have a bunch of these guys. And if we kill very many of these guys, we summon the Kraken, which we don't want to do. Oh, maybe he'll come for us. Hmm, that's intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Let's see. Now he's running. I wonder if I can just kind of snipe the kill. Oh, they're all fighting a little squid. They're fighting these uh, lizard things. I don't know what they are. I'm just going to shoot him from here. See if we can lure him away. I think they've mostly finished off the attack squids. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> okay. He's giving me an item when he shoots me. Sorry about that being really loud. I did not expect that. <laughs> Let me hide over this hill for a second. Turn him down a little bit. Okay. Let's get him. Oh man, I hate this knockback. I love it, but I hate it. He's halfway down. I don't think these water dragons are too bad. I just wish he didn't go flying so far away every time I hit him with the sword. We'll just bow this guy, I think. Almost dead. Alright. Those are supposedly tameable, but I've never tried. But, let's see here. Hey, look, another one just spawned. So these things are water dragon charges. Are they used for anything? Recipes? No, no recipe. Maybe these are what I can throw. Can I throw these at something? Where is something that's not flying? Mm -hmm. There's a pig. There we go. Or oh, these chickens are closer. Well, they're not chickens. They're whatever these things are called. <laughs> are they even doing damage? Getting hit by an ant. Not much if they were. Come here, let me look at your health. <laughs> ah! Hold still. Hold still! We have two. Did they have two before? The world may never know. But they probably did. Go away, ants. Holy cow. Okay. So, what we really wanted from that dragon is this water dragon scale right here. He also gave us a bunch of fish. And a pretty terrible sword. Hmm. All right. Well, we got the water dragon scale, so let's go put this away, and then let's hide to the mining dimension and kill a basilisk. Hopefully, supposedly these can be tamed. Let me take the raw fish from the other one. Come here. Come here. Oh, he likes me. Can he? Can we do anything with him? <laughs> or is he just friendly now? Right click? No? Can't get 
can't ride him. He's just he's just friendly now. All right. Does he follow us? Or is he just not hostile? It looks like he's just not hostile. Okay. Well, I guess if I ever don't feel like fighting one, I can just shove fish in its mouth. That's always good to know, I guess. Is there something? Come here, ant. Come here. Eh. <laughs> I think I missed. Alright, so this scale is used in the guard. It is the... Or the handle, sorry. That's the guard. That's the handle, okay? It is the middle piece. So it goes right here. Alright, so let's come over here. Right here. This is the entrance to the Basilisk Glares. Like I said, I've not been in this one at all. But generally, you come down this lovely spinning staircase. Down, down, down. It gets dark. We put some torches out. Down, 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 down. And down, and down, and down, and down. And eventually, I'm going to fall a few blocks if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> ah, creeper. <laughs> Hi there, creeper. All right, well, we found the bottom. So I don't know how dangerous it is down there. Let's do this. This part might have some mobs. Okay, we're good. So this is the entrance to this. Basically, there's like a little maze going on right here. And inside of it, you can see there's plenty of iron. If I need iron for anything... Oh, I just saw a skelly run around the corner. Come here. Yeah. Hey, a bow. Some arrows. Cool. So, here's the entrance. And this is a maze, basically. So, we're going to leave some torches so we don't get lost. Let me actually make a few more while we're here. So, we can find our way back to here easier without mining through all the obsidian. So, what it does is you come in and it's got all these random places. Every now and then there's these blobs of lava. Which way do we want to go? I'm feeling this way. Uh, nope. Not feeling that way. I'm feeling through here. I probably should have brought more blocks. That's fine. These will do. We'll go this way. Let's actually put that over there so I know to turn that way. Mm, are we feeling left or right? I'm feeling left. We're going to go here. And lots of lava here. Let's fill this in. Eventually, we're going to get to a kind of a scary room. It should be kind of this way. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, this does keep going. Let's, uh, let's put a torch right there so I can see that easier. I don't want to get too close to it before I'm ready. Mark that. A zombie. Let's uh, mark that we went that way. And is this going somewhere still? Yeah, but is it going where we want it to? It's probably on the other side of this wall right here. I'm feeling. But uh, something died right there, apparently. <laughs> but this way isn't going there. Let's go back. Well, that got really dark. Let's go this way. This go in? Okay, there. Ah, that's it. That's the room right there. All right. So in here is that. Ow! Oh no, I'm stuck on something. Oh, it turns right here. So these guys obviously poison, and they cast slowness, which is going to be really obnoxious, and they hit pretty hard. And the other thing is, I think there's actually like three of these guys in here. They slow me just by coming near them. I think there's actually three of them in there, so they're going to bounce around. And I'm also going to have issues with... I don't know if we can see any from here. There's another type of block in there that is a random teleport block. And if we step on one of those it is going to randomly teleport us somewhere in the room and that could end up being bad. So let's just go ahead and fight this guy because he wants to start and eat this golden apple and maybe he won't be so bad. If I can get in the room here, there we go. Ah! 
Yeah, see, there's two of them right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get in there. Oh, they're knocking me back. I may have to kind of bow these guys. I should probably get my bow on my bar, eh? How much health do they have? Quite a bit. Let's see if we can ultimate sword them then. Uh, this is going to be a while. It's hard to tell how much damage we're really doing because there's a few of them, like I said. Ooh, back up, back up. I wish we had a little more straight room right there. That would make it easier for sure. This uh, zoomed-in vision with that debuff is really, really crazy. Let's see if I actually dig out a couple blocks here. This will give us a little more fighting room. Aha! Oop, lava. Let me just fill that in. Okay. Let's try this now. Man, I think... Hey, there's his tail. I think there's something above us, too, that's causing a lot of noise. Aha, sucker! <laughs> and there's also chests. I don't know if you can see them right there in the dark. But there's chests in this room, too. Ah, I see that, see that discolored block right there? I don't know how well you can see it. Holy cow. That's a good... What the... Has that been there the whole time? We need to... We need to fill this lava in. I'm going to use this obsidian, because I think it got broken by something. I don't know where the lava came from, though. Okay. Stay away from the discolored blocks. Ah! <laughs> Come at me! I'm backing out of the room slowly. Okay. Let's munch down our health slow. I wish I had more... Enchanted golden apples. I don't know what's making that crazy noise, but it is strange. Come on. Where are you? Come on, one of you. One of you. Come in here. Come on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he snuck up on me. Come here. Come here. Ah! Oh, he's like glitching. I can't hit him. Ooh, now his friend's there. Alright, let's regen some health. This resistance helps a lot, but they still hit pretty good. Ow. 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 I hope they're not, like, healing every time they hit me. That would be a problem. Let me just, um, see what we can do here. Maybe this will be the way to go, actually. Let's try some sniping skills. He is not getting hurt. I'm watching his health bar. He's definitely regening. I wonder if that's just from proximity to me. I think I'm hitting this guy, but he's so far away. Yeah, he's bouncing. Oh no, he's coming. Dang it. He regens so quickly. He seems to kind of shove his head in the wall there, and that's making it so I can't hit him with the bow. Hmm. Well, I think what needs to happen is I need to be able to get it in there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pause, I'm going to go get some more golden apples, and I'll come right back. Okay, I am back. Caught a few golden, enchanted golden apples, but I don't know what that was. I, I guess that just despawned. I don't know if there were a few iron bars just sitting on the ground right there. I don't know what spawned in there and got murdered, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I cheated and I dug over straight so that I have plenty of room to run back and forth. But that's not the exciting news. The exciting news is when I was putting away apples and, and moving some stuff around, maybe it was one of these. <laughs> I think that's called a WTF question mark. Seriously, that's that's her name. When I was putting away apples and stuff, uh, can't move. Yeah, this is fine. I noticed that in my furnace chest, I had nine titanium in uh, nuggets so that I can make an ingot. And I think I actually had enough uranium for two, but I only need one here. So we're going to take one of those and one of those. And we are going to take three string, put 
that there, that there, and then it takes an iron right there, and look at that, the ultimate bow. So if we take this, you can see it's power 5, which is much better than our power 3, but it's also flame 3, punch 2, whatever, but infinity 1, this is good because I'm low on arrows. These are all the arrows I own to my name. So I figure if we use this bow, we should be able to pelt them down pretty good. Let me grab this stuff so it doesn't fill up my inventory. Holy cow! Iron farm, anybody? <laughs> All right, let's just let's just take that off. Uh, I want to light this area up more. Oh man, that! I wish that didn't mess with your view so much. All right, here comes one. Come here! I missed. I missed. I can't really see him very well. I'm sure you can't see him at all. Unfortunately, I am sorry about that. If they would come this way, that would be great. I can't even tell how much I'm hitting him. He looks like he's bouncing a little bit. That one definitely connected. Uh oh. What the heck is that? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Eat this apple. Okay, I got it, I got it. Woo, that was close. I think that was an alien is what we just saw, by the way. But I almost got wrecked right there. I don't know if you saw that. The one I just shot is at like half health. That one's not. Come on. That one just bounced. Bounced again. Did he just... No, he's still up. There's one over here. I, I'm i sure this is boring video because you probably cannot see. But he's chilling in that corner. One of them's dead. I can see his stuff on the ground. Awesome. Come on. Let's kill another one. I'm just going to keep slowly moving into the room. Where'd he go? He's so hard to see. These particle effects are like getting in my way. Too high. Oh jeez, he's coming. Yeah. yeah, stay right there, buddy. Stay right here. Oh, I can shoot his tail, that's good to know. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Die! <laughs> there we go. Two down. Two down. They drop a lot of emerald loot, as you can see, by all this stuff. Oh, here comes number three. Full health, pretty much. Where'd he go? Ugh. She's one on one now, bro. Oh, is that the best you got? Is that the best you got? Four hearts? <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, that is pretty good, but... <laughs> I'm just gonna eat one of these for the absorption. Oh, I was nowhere near you, bro. Come here. Uh, run. Ooh, it wore off. Uh, you walk into the room and all of a sudden nothing. Come on, you dang basilisk. Yeah. I want your loot. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Hello. He's killing an alien that has spawned in the room. Get him in the corner, get him in the corner. Oh, this is so dark. I'm so sorry. I can't even... I feel like I'm not even moving. Like, I, I, I promise I'm walking. If I look down, hopefully you can see that. It's like not even doing a thing. Ah, got him. Got him. I'm still running towards him. It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> Come on. Is he dead? I think he just fell over. Come on, debuff. We're off already. Sheesh. Let's get some torches. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I got teleported to the outside, really. All right, let's break our way back in here. Where are we? Okay. So that's the random teleport blocks that I accidentally just walked over. These are skeletons here. Hi, hi. Nice little pack of you spawned. Okay, let's be careful. I need to... Uh, dang it. <laughs> I need to not do that. Uh-oh. Where are 
we? Um, oh, we're on top of the bedrock. Let's see. This lava is floating. That's impressive. <laughs> so I should need to go in here. You know what? Let's uh, dig over here where that lava is not going to update and randomly come down on our head. Is there? Yeah, right here we can go in. Let's go try to find out what loot we have without stepping on more of these teleport blocks. They should be pretty easy. Yeah, you can just punch them out, but... Do we not get him as loot? That's too bad. Oh, well. Die! Get that. Wow. Something drops a lot of spider eyes. I don't know what it was, but dang, dude. Look at all this green emerald. I like it a lot. My bags are completely full. I don't need that. Um, hmm. Let's come over to these chests. Punch all these out. They're very obnoxious. There can be really good loot in these. Ultimate leggings. Awesome. Caged girlfriends. <laughs> well, we'll have to look at those later. For now, though, let's just shove all this plain emerald stuff. Here's my basilisk scales. Just shove all this stuff in here so that I can look around at the other stuff that we have found. Let me pick this stuff up before it despawns, see if there's anything else good. All emerald gear, but that's okay. Here's another one of those. What's with this water? Weird. Nothing. Hmm, aqua affinity. Breaking and breaking. Okay. What's in chest number two? Diamond helmet. Ooh, an ultimate pick. Four uranium. Very nice. Lava eel scales. Corn dogs. Mm, corn dogs. Sound tasty. <laughs> and all oh, these apples. All right, we have to go use this. That's that's what we're doing. We're gonna go use this. Blades rods would be nice too. So I. Oh, add uh, these. What is that? Wait a second. What a second. I don't know what dropped these, but mmm, titanium. Mmm, more uranium. I wonder if it was those aliens or those WTFs that were in there. Yes, that really is their name. <laughs> I need more torches. Okay, so I am going to transport some of this back over to the base. We will put our basilisk scale into line and then I'm going to show you what this does okay so I did get the uh, couple ultimate things here I didn't grab the legs but I did now so I just want to show you these legs come with protection 5 fire protection 5 blast protection 5 and projectile protection 5 so we're just going to put those on we hadn't even enchanted our leggings yet so no brainer there and not to mention, if we come into our little room here, the ultimate leggings have an armor value of 10 versus the amethyst that we were wearing, which is only 7, so that alone makes them awesome. So that's a great upgrade. The tools, I'm not actually that impressed with. They all come with uh, efficiency 5, which is nice, but they're not really that great in, compared, in comparison to some of the other tools because you don't get unbreaking on them, but the pick itself comes with Fortune 5, which is awesome. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to put it in here, I still got to clean that out, don't worry about that. But let's come into our little room here, take our basilisk scale, check out the recipe, or I mean used in. It is the middle of the guard so it goes right there next to that moth scale and we can just shove the extras in chest and now I'm going to show you what this item does but as you can see by the name it's the OMG no don't do it we need to walk a little ways away from our base for this one um, if those little fight scenes seemed choppy I'm gonna do my best to kinda edit them down at least a little bit 
but uh, mainly just because it was dark and it went on a little long. But I don't like my episodes to be too choppy, so I don't know that it'll be very much. Oh, hi. Hi. Go away. <laughs> ah, he's chasing me. You want a piece, bro? You want a piece? I didn't think so. Um, These might have to be on dirt. Is there any dirt over here? I don't know. Well, let's let's just try it right here. If I need to grab dirt, then, you know, I need to grab dirt. Um, This should be far enough not to ruin any of our stuff. So if we take this OMG, no, don't do it, which for some reason has Fortune 2 on it. Can you actually mine something with this? <laughs> I... I don't know. Whatever. And we right-click it on the ground. Can we do it on sand? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let me grab a dirt block. And we're just going to... I'm assuming I only need one. I don't know if this is going to lag or not. Apologies ahead of time. Uh, okay. Why are we trapped in a room? Well, we're not in a room, per se. Let's just jump our way out. And little dragon's over here watching the show. What is it? What is it? What? It's not even rendering. Let's, uh, let's just hop up here while I finish up the episode. These grow these crazy, insane trees. Hey, I'm talking. And, yeah, they go up and up and up and up, and there's already mobs spawning on this one. I want to check the branches and see if this one has chests, because sometimes these trees spawn with chests on the branches. But, uh, that's all we're going to do for today. Let's see, I need to chop through here. Next time, we'll be looking to fight some more bosses, and let's see... Any there? Pack spawning of mobs. I can hear them inside as well. Let's see, there's a skelly. Doesn't look like this one had any chests, so that's too bad. But next time we will check out some more mobs, keep working on Big Bertha, maybe look at another dimension, and all of that fun stuff. And uh, these are interesting leaves. And we'll be back. And yeah, and blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. See you next time. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Missed him. Bye-bye.